Cap rate is difficult in industrial because of uh, lease lengths. A cap rate doesn't really apply unless there's a long-term lease because a cap rate is the number that you have to count on as your return on investment. And in a lot of our single tenant buildings, we have short-term leases remaining after a period of time. For example, um, let's say we sign a 10-year lease and we're in the seventh year of that 10-year lease. I don't think that a cap rate applies to a three-year remaining term because in the fourth year, you got the risk of vacancy. So when someone buys a building, they can't count on that return continuing unless they make a decision that the tenant is likely to renew and they actually place an assumption in their projections that the tenant is going to renew. And you can't always count on that. So cap rate, I think, mostly applies to multi-tenant buildings where there's a variety of tenants coming in and going out and there's usually some vacancy, but not a lot of vacancy. 